Well, the Justin Trudeau government in Canada loves to help in the assistance of suicide in that country. Of course, Canada leads the world in medically assisted suicide under their MAID program. Tens of thousands of Canadians have taken advantage of this program and the government actively promotes this program. They team up with television networks to do fluffy pieces about how great it is to have the government assisting in suicide. Well, now the Canadian government is expanding the MAID program to include legally assisted suicide for drug addicts and people with mental disorders. The country's medical assistance in dying law, which originally took effect in 2016, has ended the lives of thousands upon thousands of Canadians. David Craden is a journalist in Canada. He writes at the Post Millennial and, and Human Events and uh, has Craden's write on YouTube and has written extensively about the MAID program. David, welcome back to the show. So, were you surprised that they're expanding the MAID program? No, we anticipated they would be expanding the MAID program to include people with mental health issues. They put it on hold for a year because there was so much documentation coming out about Canada being the number one suicide destination in the world. And in fact, the latest figures available for and it's called, it's a euphemism, medical assistance in dying. Another word for euthanasia, as far as I'm concerned. But over 10,000 people died as a result of this program in 2021. More in 2022, we don't have the figures yet. And I'm sure by the end of 2023, we will reach another new peak. But nobody expected this to go beyond mental health to include drug addicts. Now, is that also going to include alcoholics? I wonder. That seems to be the natural progression. But the point for me, Clayton, is that even if you really think it's a good idea to help people kill themselves, this program is looking more and more like blatant euthanasia, just getting rid of people because you don't like them. You don't like what they are or who they are and, and who's going to be next because, my God, this is... Sounds a lot like eugenics to me. Under the current made laws, those with, quote, grievous and irremediable medical conditions are eligible to end their lives. And so undergoing sort of an assessment that, you know what, I'm just, look, I'm so addicted to painkillers. There's no other option for me. You've just got to end my life. And then Canadian taxpayers foot the bill to end the lives of these individuals. It's just, it is eugenics. I, there's no other way to spin it. This is part of a World Economic Forum plan. The idea of making sure that a world population is, is lowered. Using this in Canada is, is, uh, is exactly what they want, what these globalists want. And they're, they're trying it in other countries, by the way. So the, Canada is not alone in this. No, but certainly I think Canada is more enthusiastic about ending people's lives than any other country, or at least any other democratic nation that I'm aware of. I, I find this to be a national embarrassment. If Canada is known as a destination for suicide, people are coming here to die. I mean, that's a pretty sad state of affairs. But when I hear doctors talk about this, uh, and doctors who are participating in the program and say that it's not fair to exclude people from this program, right. as if it's some kind of wonderful privilege. And I really wonder what the mindset has become. We're doctors who are supposed to be upholding the Hippocratic Oath and supporting people to live, not die, are becoming more and more open to broadening this program, this medical assistance and dying program. It, it worries me because, you, you, as you have read, I'm sure, it was the scientists and the doctors in Nazi Germany who were so much behind the euthanasia program there. Right. They thought it was a great idea, or else they would not have had the participation they had. And it worries me when I hear professionals, doctors, talking about this program in such a positive light. And I certainly hope I never have a, and I'm never in a situation where a doctor can pull the plug on me that way. But I, I personally right now was a member of my family who is, who was going through severe physical issues. A week ago, she was very near death. 
she's getting better she's recuperating but thank god there is there is nobody around to say well we better just euthanize her because the whole, the prognosis doesn't look good today and i'm 100% against any form of euthanasia but certainly a program that joyfully talks about killing people like it's some kind of benefit it's it's mystifying to me and to me it's part of the death cult that the Trudeau government celebrates. Whether it's um, unrestricted abortion on demand to the last trimester, or whether it's this kind of euthanasia. This is a celebration of death, and to me, it's completely foreign to what Canada has always been about, what Canada has fought for in two world wars, and what Canada should still be about. But obviously, Justin Trudeau is not about and has no intention of being that way. Is there a pushback? I mean, this is transhumanism. This is eugenics. The eugenics program that people thought ended sort of after World War II. We wouldn't know about it. It's kind of, it's as Whitney Webb, a journalist on our show, has uh, has articulated very well that the eugenics program never went away. It's just evolved. It's, un, you know, it's under a different name. Uh, we now know that Canada, the Netherlands, Belgium, the United States, all on track where people can die with, with assisted suicide. And these countries are growing in numbers, catching up to Canada. Uh, the Netherlands is catching up to Canada with assisted suicide. So all over the Western-backed, World Economic Forum-backed world has these ties to this Nazi plan to basically uh, to, to, to end, end people's lives here. Is there pushback on the, on the conservative side um, in, in Parliament against this and, and maybe a move by the Canadian government to try to end this? Well, there was a private member's bill before the House of Commons right now sponsored by Ed Fast. He's a conservative member of parliament from Abbotsford, British Columbia. And he decided that the only way to counteract this program was not to suggest the liberals are going to end it. He knows that. But could the liberals at least agree to not include the mentally ill? Because that's just plain irresponsible. How can somebody who's mentally ill make a determination about whether they want to live or die? Because it's just irresponsible. And the liberals are refusing to support that private member's bill because they are quite serious about going forth with this. And not only to just say people who are mentally ill, but they're going to include people with addictions in this and that's that's highly troublesome but you know what really what is ironic about this and hypocritical is that this trudeau government has been pushing supervised injection sites all across canada for the last decade where people can legally shoot up heroin and other illegal drugs in a so-called safe setting. This is all this has all been part of the harm reduction program. So while the the Trudeau government says it's okay now for people with drug addictions to end their lives, they are creating addictions. They are creating more addictions by making it easier, by facilitating drug access. And they're giving away free drugs on the streets in places like Vancouver and Toronto. They're giving away free drugs. They're creating addiction problems. So a lot of the harm reduction people who say, well, you know, we want addicts to have safe access to drugs, even they are saying, well, this really isn't harm reduction at all. But it, perhaps that's where the Trudeau government's going. They really don't want anyone to go through less harm. They want to induce harm. And as far as I am concerned, there's no safe level of ingesting heroin. There's right. no safe su supervised injection site. They're all unsafe because the overdoses in British Columbia and Vancouver are skyrocketing because there are four injection sites in that city where addicts daily shoot up. And to say that this is saving lives is absolute insanity. But you can see how where, where this Trudeau government is going, create addictions, create mental health, and then we can just ask them to commit suicide because it'll be easier that way. And that to me is horrific. And smacks of those people who worked in concentration camps and extermination camps during the Second World War. And I think it's absolutely abominable. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And I think also that we've covered here on the show the idea that, oh, if you're in, if you have a lot of debt, you're in financial debt. Uh, you know what? Maybe the easier way out for you if you have a lot of financial debt is uh, medically assisted suicide. If you're depressed about it, 
If you're depressed, you're upset, you're you're anxious because you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of debt. You know what? There's a better way for you. There's a better way out, and that's what the Trudeau well, government could, is. You could you could judge people who think that way to be mentally ill, and and that is what is a Pandora's box about this because the concept of being mentally ill can easily be applied to just about any kind of thought that is destructive against yourself that is not that is uh, self-harming so therefore it's easy to group just about anybody into this category of mentally ill even somebody who for a, for a week is perhaps suicidal but anyone who's worked in recovery centers or anyone who's worked with people who feel that way know that feeling passes the darkness goes and there's always a light at the end you just have to bring people through that depression through that period of unease and bring them into the light bring them into a place of health and this program has nothing to do with health and the fact that it's overseen by the minister of health is again part of the whole Orwellian environment of the Trudeau government. And to call it this made is once again, it's news speak. It's calling suicide something that sounds almost admirable, almost desirable. Yeah. Yeah. And of course it comes down to once again, this is nothing more than a euthanasia, a eugenics and a suicide program. Yeah, the maid will come to your house and take care of you. That, that's exactly right. David Creighton, great to see you. Thank you so much for keeping us sane here, covering the craziness up in Canada as this maid program uh, expands under the Trudeau government. Thanks, thanks, David. Thank you so much, Clayton. Thank you so much for watching this segment here at Redacted. We are live every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time trying to share the stories that the mainstream media will not cover. You should also come over and join our community of Redacted Rebels over at redacted.inc. That's our private locals community where we can share exclusive content that we simply cannot share here on YouTube. Come over and join the rebellion together right now by going to redacted.inc. We'll see you next time.